Real Madrid downplay Almeria talk of VAR, robbery, in loss. Real Madrid coach Carlo Ancelotti dismissed Almeria's anger as La Liga's bottom club complained they were robbed in Sunday's thrilling 3-2 victory for the hosts at the Santiago Bernabeu. Almeria, who are without a league win this season, took a surprise 2-0 halftime lead against Madrid. However, Ancelotti's side responded with three second-half goals, including a 99th-minute winner to return to the top of the table. The game swung on three key moments after the break, with referee Francisco José Hernández Meso awarding Madrid a penalty, ruling out an Almeria strike and allowing a Vinicius Jr. goal converted with his upper arm to stand. All three decisions were made after Hernández Meso re-watched the incidents on the pitch side monitor, with Ancelotti lending his support to each of the calls. I understand Almeria's anger with the decisions, but I think they were all correct, Ancelotti said in his post-game news conference. I understand Almeria's anger with the decisions, but I think they were all correct. Almeria jumped out to a flying start, with Largi Ramazani opening the scoring in the first minute and Edgar Gonzalez doubling their lead in the 43rd minute before the drama began after the break. First, the referee gave a penalty for a Kaiki Fernandez handball when Almeria claimed the Brazilian had been fouled by Jossalu. Jude Bellingham converted from the spot. Almeria then had a Sergio Arriba's goal disallowed due to a foul on Bellingham by Dion Lopi in the build-up, setting the stage for Vinicius to equalize with his upper arm. Donny Carvajal then scored the winner deep in stoppage time, ghosting in at the back post to sweep home from a tight angle. This is a competition that should be fair for everyone, and sometimes it's hard to see that, Gonzalez told reporters. This is a competition that should be fair for everyone, and sometimes it's hard to see that. Defender Mark Pubel added that somebody decided we couldn't win and that's what happened. Midfielder Gonzalo Melero was equally upset, telling reporters, The feeling is we've been robbed today. It's that clear. They could not have done more for Madrid to get back in the match. And it has happened to us several times this season now. If you don't complain, they don't help you. That's how it is. We have never said anything, but today surpassed all limits. It was incredible. Ancelotti attributed Madrid's lackluster first half to tiredness after a difficult run of games that ended with them being knocked out of the Copa del Rey by Atletico Madrid in extra time on Thursday. That came after a 4-1 win over Barcelona in the Spanish Supercopa final and a 5-3 victory over Atletico after extra time in the same competition with both games played in Saudi Arabia. The first half was really bad, Ancelotti said. We were lacking energy. The team was tired. The second half was a different story and we had the support of the stadium pushing us on, which is important. I made a mistake with the team by picking tired players. By the 30th minute, I was already thinking of changes to get more energy. All I could do to change the dynamic was bring on fresh legs at halftime. Some players paid the price for the extra time versus Atletico on Thursday. The second half was better. I'm more angry with myself than anything. Everyone wants to play, but I have to assess who is ready, who needs a rest, etc., and I got that wrong today. The win takes Real Madrid onto 51 points from 20 games ahead of Saturday's trip to Las Palmas. Almeria remain at the bottom with just 6 points. Thanks for watching NY Sports News. Stay tuned for more updates.